Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to another video from me Boots on the Ground. Now as you've been aware I haven't been doing as many videos getting out there into the great wilderness as usual and if you watch my previous videos you'll know why so I'm not going to go over it again but one of the questions I actually got in a PM here on YouTube was what's all that stuff on your belt? Well this is the belt in question and to be honest with you not a lot and we'll just quickly go through what's actually on this belt and I shall show you the individual parts as well. Now the actual belt itself which has got this kind of, well it's actually a military belt and you can undo things on here such as this so if you need to winch yourself up or if you need to attach a rope things like that and it simply slides through on this side like so I can remember which way around it goes now. Go through like so, you loop it through, and then it sticks to the Velcro. Now these belts, you don't need to pay a huge amount of money for these belts. This is actually an airsoft belt, but again, it is a real military belt, and I find this is perfect for, if you've been having the loads of Yorkshire pudding, and the waistline's got a little bit bigger, then this is easily adjustable. Though. I would like one, actually, that just connects like so. On connects you can get them on Amazon and places like that just to be able to set the belt off quicker but absolutely no problems with this and, and as I mentioned these are only really cheap you can get them at airsoft shops or even army army navy stores now I've been asked about this you may have seen this on my videos this pouch here if I open it up you can see this is what is called a military dump pouch now this is worn here by military personnel, so when they're firing the mags off of the clips they take the mag out and it's dumped straight in here, it literally is a dump pouch and it has an inner lining so that things that go in can't easily come out. Now again this is an airsoft one but there's no real difference between the airsoft and the real military ones so you can get hold of these for probably £10 if that online if you look for them. And the reason that I have this is because when I'm using the actual GoPro or the Osmo in my case you can take that tripod dump it straight in the pouch on the back there straight in the back you don't need to bother with that you put that in straight in no need to worry and then when you want to do some more filming you can literally grab it and straight back out so you don't need to be constantly carrying the camera around in your hands and worrying about losing it in your pocket or anything like that so that's the reason why i use this dump pouch and i've not seen anybody else on youtube doing or any of the hiking videos or getting out there actually using a dump pouch but these are absolutely brilliant not only for your camera but also for anything food compass you name it anything that you need to get quickly can go in there next on my belt barring this little cambina is another military pouch here and this is called a molly system so you can attach this to pretty much anything you want and what do i keep in there i actually keep food and sneaky snacks in there anything that's going to be feeling a bit peckish then i can get in there fairly quickly and grab hold of it so that's what we do in that pouch there first aid of course especially if i'm taking the knife out or the hatchet or the axe it's really really easy just to slip or trip or catch yourself a little bit of a stick, stick sticking up or a stump or a stone and you fall over it's easy to cut your hands open elbows anything so I always have one in here i've got enough to be able to give myself some stitches if i need it in there i've got plasters antiseptic wipes uh anti-insect um, stuff, bandages, you name it, it's all in there but it's really important that you take out some first aid with you and it's easily grabbable should you need to have it. And last on the belt we have the buck knife. Now a lot of people get very nervous about knives when you're walking around so what I tend to do is I take this off when I'm at the say visitor centre or I'm walking up to somewhere to do a whale camp even though it's on your belt at the back, people see a knife, they panic, they think you're a nut job and you can be reported for it. So I always take this off until I actually need it or I get to the campsite and then I want to use it. That's when I actually use it. And on this buck knife here, we've actually got a, uh, is it a fecrum stick? I can never remember the proper name of it. A fire starter spark and you'll see on one of my videos it wasn't easy to do this. So a little tip is there is to take cotton ball cotton ball, cotton wool balls and put them in grease and that will help you a lot but I may do another review on this knife at some point, it's a little bit dirty actually uh, the book knife, absolutely brilliant, it's really really comfortable in the grip this came from Go Outdoors, I'm really really happy with that knife but this video is literally just to show you a little bit about 
what I have on this belt. Oh, cat. What we have on this belt. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated, just basic things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little introduction to this video. I hope it's been some interest to you, little pussy cat there. I shall see you in another video coming soon. I can't wait to get back out. I'm just not in a fit state to do it at the minute. Anyway, stick a plaster on it. See you later. Bye bye.